online, on the go. Fox Toledo News at 630 starts right now. Good evening, I'm Laura Emerson. And I'm Sean Hegarty. Here's the news for Monday, June 21st. A local police officer is headed to prison. A judge sentenced former Ottawa Hills officer Thomas White to 10 years today for shooting and paralyzing a motorcyclist last year. Michelle Zapata was in the courtroom and is live with a twist in today's hearing. Well, White was sentenced, but in a rare move, the judge set a $100,000 appellate bond. If his family can post it, White could be released while he awaits his appeal. But at last check, he is still at the Lucas County Jail. Thomas White had a chance to address the judge and the man he paralyzed before sentencing. And there's no amount of punishment or rehabilitation that would have changed my decision on May 23rd, 2009 with the information that I had at the time. I did what I was required to do by law and by my oath as a peace officer. Uh, I did not hear him say I'm sorry. Uh, and that's why I point out to the court the victim in this case is Mike McCluskey, uh, not Officer White. The judge also noted White's unwillingness to accept his guilt, something that was hard for Michael McCloskey and his family members to accept. They were hoping for an apology. Oh, I didn't see it in his eyes. You know, his statement, I think, said it all. McCloskey spoke briefly with the media after, but was hospitalized this weekend and decided not to speak at the sentencing. Now, part of that 10-year sentence is mandatory. That's because White was found guilty of committing a crime with a firearm during the crime, which carries three years of a mandatory sentence. That charge was contested over and over again by White's attorney. They felt he should not face that charge since he's a police officer and is required to carry a gun while on duty. Reporting live, Michelle Zapata, Fox Toledo News. Thanks, Michelle. So what do you think about the sentence for Thomas White? That is our Fox Toledo feedback question tonight. You can go to Fox Toledo's Twitter or Facebook page or email us your comments.